السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website. I have received a nice question. Is asking what is the best method to deal with an extension of time. Actually, there is no uh, right or wrong in the extension of time. Think about the extension of time as a case in the court. You cannot ask uh, a lawyer, for example, what is the best way to deal with this case? Because each case is different. There are different situations, different inputs, different outputs. But in this video, I would like to tell you what is the steps me, myself, I'm using while doing any extension of time for my clients. First of all, I will study the project and study the delay events to understand the concept or what is going on. Then, and the most important thing is to discuss with the project team and the client what are the expectations you uh, require uh, to approve the extension of time. Sometimes they say we need as planned, sometimes they say we need as built, sometimes they say we need window analysis or time impact. So the negotiation at the beginning is very important because it will form how you are going to deal with an extension of time later on. Once we agreed about the concept, if it is okay with my case and I have no issue to do it, then I will not fight at this point. But if the client or the consultant ask it for a specific method and this method does not fit the project uh, situation, then I will fight. Because if it is not clearly mentioned in the contract that we should use this method in the extension of time, then I have no liability to use such a method. Let's be clear. For, okay, so as planned, simply I will uh, get the delay event, put it in the baseline schedule and see the impact. That's it. The as built, I will update this schedule with the actual uh, data and see the completion date and the difference between the completion date of the updated schedule and the completion date of the baseline schedule will be the extension of time delays. The window analysis uh, will consider different scenarios like I'm starting with uh, program number zero which is a baseline schedule. Let's say I have a certain completion date as there is a baseline. Then I'm going to put the uh, delay events as I'm using in the plant as planned and see let's say you have uh, uh, 30 days of delays. Then I will update this version to a date very near to the delay event and see these 30 days are increased or decreased or same. If it is increased, then the delay is from the contractor more than the delay is from the client. It means in that case, the client will take 30 days without cost and the remaining days will be delay penalty. If the uh, 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 delay is decreased, for example, from 30 days, we find it 28 days, it means all the delays from the client side and the contractor was able to recover two days, for example. In that case, the, the contractor is entitled for an extension of time and prolongation cost. This is a very simple uh, explanation about the extension of time. I hope you found it useful. See you in the next lesson.